How to create a learning cycle of reading, organizing, and memorizing with margin note. Let's take a look at three modes, document, study, and review. In the document mode, you can import and organize reading materials. Tap import, tap add documents from files. Margin note supports a variety of formats, including PDF, EPUB, video, audio, and more. Select the file you want. After import, tap to open file. Here you can skim through or make notes. Tap the book icon to view content, thumbnails, and bookmarks in order to have a quick look at the document structure. If you want to excerpt or annotate the file, tap the pen icon. The toolbar includes excerpt tools and annotation tools. Use excerpt tools and you can make excerpts and highlight the content. Use annotation tools and you can annotate the document. If you want to add notes to your excerpts, tap the excerpt and select the edit icon. Or double tap the excerpt to open the note editor. You can edit the excerpt content or add a title for your note. You can also write down your thoughts in a comment section. If you want to search contents online, select contents and tap research. Margin notes will search the contents online. You can select texts or images and drag them onto the excerpt as complementary information. The notes area on the side can help you to quickly view the notes on the current page. To open it, tap or drag the left arrow button. Note thumbnails are attached to the right margin corresponding to the location of the excerpts. Tap a thumbnail for the note editor and you can view the notes in detail or edit their contents. After roaming in the document mode, you can proceed to organize your notes in the study mode. Tap the mind map icon to upgrade your document to a mind map notebook. Or create a new mind map notebook in the study mode page and associate it with your documents. Select the notebook. Tap import. Your excerpts and annotation will be automatically added into the mind map as notes. The study mode extends many features from document mode. Excerpt tools and annotation tools can be used in the study mode as well. Of course, you can turn off auto add to mind map in the excerpt settings and add excerpts to mind map manually. The research feature is especially powerful in the study mode. Texts and images can be dragged not only onto excerpts as comments, but also onto mind map canvas as new notes. Mind map canvas can help you to organize your knowledge. Drag a note onto another, the note you have dragged will become the child note. If you drag it again, the two notes will merge into one. Tap a note, select link. Drag the icon onto another node, and a link will form between the two nodes. Changing the branch style may clarify the mind map structure. Tap a parent node, select branch style. The framework style makes it easier for you to organize the notes. The tree style demonstrates the relationship between nodes more clearly. Besides using branches to organize notes, you can turn on handwriting mode and write directly on the canvas. Long press and drag. Tap create node to convert it to a node. You can also use the outline view to skim through or organize the notes. The outline view enables you to adjust the hierarchy of your mind map swiftly. Once you complete organizing, you can pick out important notes for review and self-test. Tap More. Tap Add to Card Deck. Tap Add to to create a new card deck. All your decks are displayed in the Review Mode page for viewing and managing. Open the deck to review what you have learned. You can add a question to your card. Type in the question or select Question from Note Content. You can also use close feature to hide contents. Tap the start button and begin your review on flashcards. When you turn over the flashcard, you can rate the question hard, good, or easy. Margin notes will arrange and notify you about the next review according to your mastery of the questions. Read, organize, and memorize. This is how margin notes create a learning cycle.